Hi friends, welcome back. Today we are determining if functions are inverses using tables and graphs. So rather than doing the XY swap that we saw in a previous video, we're going to determine if they're inverses by looking at the tables or at their graphs. So let's start. For this first one, what we wanna do is we're gonna pick uh, a domain. I just chose negative two, zero, and two. It uh, can be dependent upon what whatever you're told, or if you're not told anything, these are really good numbers to use. So what we're gonna do is plug that in and find our y. So negative two, we're plugging into this formula here, zero and two. All right, when we plug negative two in, we get negative four minus two, y equals negative four minus two. Add the opposite, we get y equals negative six. So when x is negative two, y is negative six. All right, let's do zero. Now, anything times zero is zero, so kablam, get rid of that. We just get y equals negative two. That's nice and easy. That's why I say pick zero. So that's negative two. All right, on our last one down here, we have negative four. Uh, oh, I made a mistake back here. I said this is negative two. Y'all, that is not negative. A negative times a negative is a positive. Let's try that again. Y equals negative times a negative is a positive. So it's four minus two, which means y equals two. Y'all, I get a little too excited about math and I move a little too fast. I'm sorry, but this time, look at that. Y equals negative four minus two because a negative times a positive is a negative. Add the opposite, we get Y equals negative six this time. Okay, so what you do now, we have these two functions and I wanna know if they are inverses. You find, you do an XY chart for the one and you take your Y and you're gonna insert it for your X. Friendly reminder, if you have not already written this down a dozen times in your notebooks, write it down again. You need to remember that X means domain, which also means your input. Your Y means your range, which is also your output. So we put things into our machine, we get things out. We put in negative two, zero, two, we got out two, negative two, six. When you're talking inverses, we flip our domain and our range. So I'm gonna take this two, negative two, and six. Two, negative two, and negative six. And I am going to plug that into my equation here. So two, and since I'm dealing with a fraction, instead of saying two, I'm just gonna say two over one. Negative two over one and negative six over one. Okay, let's see what we get. A negative times a negative is, any, is a negative, and apparently I need to remind myself of that. So we get negative, and then if I multiply straight across the top, I get two, straight across the bottom, I get two. Two over two, remember, is one. So I get negative one minus one. Add the opposite, I get y equals negative two. Kablam. All right, over here, negative times a negative is a positive. And again, one half times two, so we get positive one. So y equals one minus one, which equals zero. Let's go ahead and put that in there. Now over here, we've got y equals negative times a negative is a positive. And I get six over two. Uh, minus one and six over two is three, right? Six divided by two is three. So y equals three minus one, which means y equals two. Put that back in over here and take a look at that. If you look at our f of x, the domain of our f of x is the range of our h of x and the range of our f of x is the domain of here. So this means that they are in fact inverses. What does that mean when, we, when they are, um, when we go to graph them. Well, let's take a look at this graph here. And I'm gonna take our XY chart and just copy it down over here on this guy. Whoops, it would help if you could see the whole thing. Sorry about that, let's back up a little bit. Okay, so uh, we have two, negative two, and negative six, I'm making sure I'm copying down, right? Uh, two, negative two, negative six, and then we have negative two, zero, two. Okay, we gotta graph these guys, right? So the first one that I'm gonna graph is negative two X minus two. That means I'm gonna start at negative two. And for right now, I want you to disregard that orange line that's right there in the middle. I'm gonna use that to show uh, something at the end. So negative two, start at negative two. My slope is negative two. And remember, slope is always a ratio, AKA a fraction. So my slope is negative two over one, meaning I can go down two and in the positive direction one. I can also go up two and in the negative direction one. So if I go like this. Okay, so, oh, what, whoops, I messed up here, hold on. There we go. So up two over one, up two over one. We're gonna disregard those other ones. Sorry about that, guys. Um, and then we need to make sure to use a straight edge. So we've got 
This guy, apparently I can't count today. Jeez. Uh, we'll use this one. All right, there's our first graph. Just ignore those green, green spots there. Nobody, we always make mistakes, right? Okay, so then our next guy, I'm gonna do this one in pink. We start at negative one here. So that's this guy right here. And our slope is negative one over two, which can also be one over negative two. Both these mean the same thing. So from here, I can go down one and over in the positive direction two. Down one, positive two. Down one, positive two. I can also go up one and in the negative direction too. Make sure I count right this time. There we go, okay. And so now we're gonna use our straight edge here. And we're gonna draw our line. You'll see that this orange line is, if we were to fold that over, you see how this pink line would then fold over onto this green line, and this green line would fold over onto this pink line. It's a line of reflection. This is this means that it's an inverse. When, when two functions are inverses of each other, they fold along that, uh, that line there, that sort of mirror. They reflect across that so that you see it on the other side. Uh, so if, if you can see that they are reflected across this line here, then that way you can also visualize, hey, these are inverses. Hope that helped answer some questions. If you have any questions, let your teacher know. Otherwise, I will see you next time.